Uh, excuse me, can somebody give me a cue there, please? Okay. Well, which camera am I working to? <laughs> well, if you just tell me, I'll do it. Tim, you want to organize that, please? Okay. Can you just do that one simple thing? All right, good. Now we're in business. Yes, I'm sure I'm, they'd all love to know Simon LeBond's favorite color, but what about the more important questions in the world? Like, who is it that loses that odd shoe you find lying in the gutter? And is it that same idiot who leaves one soaking wet glove stuck on a spike of the park railings? <laughs> and the funny thing is, it's blue. Not the glove. Simon's favorite color. <laughs> How about a nice, quick commercial for all those attractive magazines about warfare? You know, the ones with beautifully presented pictures of the latest tank-crushing device. Or cruise missile on the market. And they have exciting stories about mercenaries and other elite groups of soldiers. How they kill and maim. Things we really ought to know about. And isn't it thoughtful that they've written it in an easy-to-understand, no-nonsense language? So ideal for the children who just love to collect them week by week. Week by week. By in those charming plastic folders. Now, the publishers say that they are very educational, which makes you wonder just one little thing. Where the hell did they go to? This is a good idea. And yes, it takes all sorts to make a world. And the world is full of strange things. And one example of a thing is... Just think, they've got an actor for a president, economic advisors called projectionists. Even their latest defense strategy is named after a film. And why pick on that one? Why not something gentler, like... And of course, everywhere in the world to them is just a theater of operations. Except when they're fighting in it. And then, it's a theater of war. Boy, you can't trust anyone in this business. You know, in a recent show, I suggested a new game show called Stake Your Bedroom Furniture. Well, I'm damned if there isn't a new game show coming out soon on a major network called Stroke the Piece of Furniture. <laughs> All the contestant has to do is stroke one of the prizes, like a refrigerator, hi-fi system, or video cassette player, in a more loving and sexy way than the hostess, and they get to keep the prize. I'm keeping my mouth shut in future. I don't know what you think about this stuff, but we've got to talk to the writer. What? Well, I don't have to do it if I don't want to do it. Who says? Okay, that's good enough for me. I'm very sorry, but I am not going to tell lies, not even little white ones. And certainly I won't be involved with huge, mind-boggling whoppers that make the truth sound like Alice in Wonderland. I leave all that to this spot in the show. You know, being a bit of a... <laughs> celeb. Celeb. I was invited to a party this weekend. It's being thrown by a bunch of arms dealers. It's a sort of bring-your-own Maltov cocktail party. Now, that's what I like about arms dealers. They're very sociable. They don't mind who they mix with. Tee-hee. <laughs> Tee-hee.
Little joke. Anyway, sounds great. The invitations say I can bring an enemy. Now we all have to arrive late, so there's a decent fight over the food. Actually, it's a buffet, but they'll sell you a knife if you want one. You know, it's a pity I can't make it, but I'm addressing a CND meeting that night. Well, sorry, I appear to have a fly, fly in here. Okay, buddy, I can see you. Right, just take it easy. I'll bring you down. That's it. Relax. Wait, you're you're going around in circles. Oh, I see you've lost a wing. That's tough. Right. Okay, let's try coming in a bit slower this time, huh? Hold it. No, throttle back. Throttle back. Left, left rudder. You're driving. You're diving too steep. You're never. Never gonna make it. Who'd be an air traffic controller?